check these dudes out. This is an, a little bit of an update on the cichlid tank. Some people are interested. I noticed a lot of you guys have had cichlids in the past, African cichlids. A really interesting fish. There is the boss of the tank. I'd say he's the prettiest one as well. These lights and the telephone is really playing games with the colors. Uh, but he is like iridescent blue. And we've got, I call them yellow. My kids and wife call them. These two are orange. One is like orange up front and then like he and then uh, maybe her. I don't know. And then fades to like white. Um, we've got an albino. One with the red eyes and everything up there. He kind of keeps to himself and stays hidden. They kind of pick on him a little bit. This guy can get stripes and he gets real dark gray stripes whenever he wants. So he can almost brighten up and he's got a gray bar that runs down his side here. If any of you guys know much about these, let me know what you know or maybe point me to the right resources because I don't know a whole lot about what I have. I know they're all African cichlids, but I'm not sure if they're Malawi or not, or uh, what the species of, or, or whatever, what type I have here. Um, they all seem to get along okay. He, he pushes them around a little bit, but if he's happy, you can see that, then that, I, I need to get some more rock work in here. So they can have a place to hide. There's what we've been calling a bumblebee, but I'm not quite sure what he is. We got him. His back fin was nipped out real bad, but it's growing back within like three or four days here. So that did not happen in this tank. I think he's going to be real pretty, though. And we also have an orange one, like bright orange back there, kind of hiding. I'm going to feed these dudes for you guys and see how they go nuts. They go insane. So, let's get a little pinch here. This is flake food. They kind of think it's a treat. I've been feeding the uh, cichlid. Here we go. Let's drop some of this in here. Watch these dudes go crazy. crazy so there's eight in here now the tank is fully cycled I believe I'm gonna show you the tests and stuff not that anybody really cares but surprisingly there are a few people that do it's a great hobby the kids like watching them a little more expensive than I thought it was gonna be some of these guys are like 15 bucks a piece uh, my wife come home the other day with three fish it was like 50 bucks I'm like dang it's still not too bad though. As you can see our orange one. He's I need to get some new bulbs. Although in, in real life the blue kind of looks pretty cool. He is a bright, bright orange with like a black line on the other side, then he's kinda has speckles. going to add some more rock work. I don't want to get crazy because I want to leave an, a lot of swimming room, but I think I need a few more places for them to get in and out of. Because sometimes when the blue one, where is he, right there, will start chasing everybody. They race in and out of the rocks and then back around. I don't know. I just feel like there's not quite enough in there. Real relaxing though. Sometimes like, well most time. I don't watch a whole lot of TV. My wife does not either, but I gotta just sit and watch the tank. Check them out. It's funny too because they know if the kids are up here or if I'm up here. I'm sure just the height difference, but whenever I come up they get all excited like they're gonna get fed. A lot of people don't feed them, but like maybe every other day or once a week. I can't do that. I do like small feedings twice a day. Running the water right around 82, they seem to like that. They're pretty for freshwater fish. And all have little attitudes. He's running the tank here. 
You see he rides with his uh, top fin up all the time. He keeps everybody in line. Now, we thought that smaller bumblebee one um, would have some trouble, but he just kind of weaves in and out of the bottom here. I almost feel like, like the stripe one and that other one is a different type of cichlid. Still an African cichlid, but it might come from a different lake. If you watch him during feeding time, he doesn't really go to the top. There is some chasing going on there. He kind of cruises around the bottom in the middle ground looking for his food. Maybe it's just because he's smaller. I don't know. I'm going to show you the tank it is cycled. I don't know if you can see this. They're really hard to see. Anyways, that's ammonia. If you could see this in the, there you go maybe. Ammonia is real low, might be around 0.25, maybe, I'd say it's more yellow than that. And in my opinion, that's the biggest thing you have to worry about when you're cycling a tank, ammonia. And your nitrates and nitrites can get thrown off too, but you can see that's very low. This is actually yellow too, if I could get it in the right light here. I don't really have any good overhead lights here. It looks orange. I know it looks orange. It's in between that zero and the five, though. That's pretty low. I could stand a water change, maybe 10%, 5%. See nitrate, totally blue. And pH running right around 8, 8.2. So, set up. That's what they like or so I've read and it seems to be working everybody seems real happy when I usually buy them at the store they have color in them but when I get them home and in this tank uh, usually their color just perks right up and they come to life more I guess because the water is more uh, suited for them I know I'm really not supposed to have this driftwood in here because it's softening up the water maybe dropping the pH a little bit but I really like it and I've talked to a lot of different people and, and you know as long as your water numbers are testing right uh, we went and got this rock here that raises the pH a little bit not enough I mean I, I could probably fill the whole tank up with those and then I wouldn't have to put the buffer in there or whatever that chemical perfect 8.2 or 8.4 whatever I was using anyways had a lot of luck I highly suggest if you guys are starting a fish tank, especially a freshwater tank, check out African cichlids if you have not already. They're a real fun fish. I mean, it sounds really funny to say fun fish, but they're fun to watch. See, this dude kind of hangs out. I wish he'd come out a little bit more. The um, albino. He's not sick. I mean, I don't think he is. But he comes out and cruises around, but then he like goes back up into his comfortable area, which is up there in the corner. Anyways, eight minute fish video. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for hanging out. More stuff coming up. Knife videos always have to review some more knives. Got a lot of stuff planned. So, thanks for checking it out. See ya.